Hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy 3. Uh, I walked around the towns a little bit to see what I could buy and there wasn't much. I'm also not entirely sure where to go. Uh, I talked to the king already. Oh, hello. A fragrance of his power to his three apprentices, Zand, Doga, in uni. The only ones who are capable of creating the, uh, an earthquake of that magnitude are the three wizards of the Dog Continent. The Nautilus's engine should be powerful enough to get you past the winds that guard Dog through the narrow shape from promontory. More reason what you must now head to the Dog Continent. That name sounds familiar. Ha! Mm, all right. Ha! Right. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hello. Passage ahead is closed. I hear it used to lead to an underground tunnel in the old days. What? Let me through. Well, at least there's treasure. Phoenix down. And a phoenix down. Sure, we could get through if we tried. Alright, anyway. That can't be it. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> I just have to work my way around. I wish, like, once I was in the... Man, that wall keeps looking broken to me. I wish that once I was in the passage, like, it would just show me, like, highlight where it is. Like, or, like, highlight the passage. So that way I'm not, like, running into walls once, I, once I've gone through it. Ugh, you guys are useless. We are the Seronian engineers, the greatest minds in all the world. We've been expecting you. We've unearthed and restored a flying ship from the... Oh! From the ancient ruins. It's called the Nautilus, and it's yours to take. Let's go, guys. They just, like, give me an airship? Uh, I'm not going to complain. Huh? What? Hey, wait for me. Look, they just run off without him. So I guess that's cool. We moored the ship outside the castle. Remember, it's called the Nautilus. It's a fine ship. Its engine should be powerful enough to take you through the wind. Oh, that protects that doll continent. Okay, right. well, that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, all right. Let's build a machine to travel underwater. The genius engineer was in flight on an airship when the world was covered in darkness. I wonder what happened to him. <gasps> it's Sid. In the Cerrone of old. I bet the genius engineer is... Uh, can you imagine how much awesomer it would be if it could go underwater? Man, for scholars, your grammar is pretty bad. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? <laughs> oh, man, that thing does zip. Uh, for being called the Nautilus, it cannot go in water. Man, do I appreciate the increased speed, though.
So I made Lizzo a geomancer. Uh, reason being, I... I'm not using black magic as much. I'm hoping they can do a wield. If not, I just made a terrible mistake. Ah, now we're talking. Man, 130 attack. That's nuts. Uh, so, I wasn't really using black magic that much. I mean, I will against bosses, obviously. Um, I think that was the southern continent. Look at how much faster it is. Still can't go over mountains. Aha! Uh, let me guess. Whoa, wait, what? What? I don't get attacked in airships. Oh, sure, like now he's so fast that it's he's always first. Whoa. Man, that's not bad damage. Man, so that was like 200 health I got out of that. Against Garuda, I was getting like 50. So apparently you have to fight in the airship. Uh, I'm assuming this is where we're going. Doga's Manor. Who dares trespass inside the great wizard Doga's Manor? Seize them! <gasps> For being captured by Moogles. I'm not even mad about that. What are you people doing? Hmm? I know you, don't I? Ah, the warriors of the light. Good of you to have come. I have something to tell you. The one who is summoning the darkness into this world is none other than Zand. Zand, Uni, and I were apprentices of the great Magus Noah. When Noah died, he bestowed upon us gifts. The power of magic to me, the world of dreams to Uni, and to Zand, Noah granted him mortality. Ooh. Of course, Zand was not pleased. Ah. Duh, he covered this world in darkness and stepped and stopped the flow of time. Zand's plan was to stay his eventual demise by halting time itself. But then you appeared and restored time to its rightful rhythm. However, Zand seems intent on stopping time again. Come, you must help me stop Zand. Oh, Doga joined the party. So, you give your apprentices all these cool, uh, two of them, all these cool powers, and the third one, you're like, oh, by the way, your power is that you're going to die. That's brilliant. Come, you must escort me to the cave of the circle. In my room is a secret passage that leads to the cave. The candle on the wall is the switch that opens the hidden door. Cool. Welcome to Mognet, Koopo. You don't have anything new for me. <gasps> Are you guys shops? Oh, they're shops. Well, that could be useful. Especially since I don't have any uh, magic to kind of fix those things. Ooh. Um, maybe not having, uh... Black Mage was not a great move. That's right, we can fix that. Lady Uni is asleep. Or is it Unai? I think it's Uni. Is asleep in the shrine south of Seronia, protecting the world of dream, Koopo. You can call Fat Chocobo in the hall to the right. Use... Geisel greens on um, the unlit candle. I'm good, actually. Uh, there we go. Hmm. I 
remember a cave. Oh, come on. The hole leads to the cave of the circle. As you can see, you must be very small to enter. Nope, I don't want to hear from you again. Oh, oh no. Wait, does the whole party have to... Ah. Let's go get more of those mallets, shall we? I don't know if the whole party has to be tiny, but just in case. Let's grab another ten of those. And another ten of those. Alright, I'm not getting anywhere near this thing until I've already shrunken. the whole party. Uh-oh. So that's a problem. Oh, okay. No, no fights yet. probably gonna run away from everything because I don't have any way to uh, to damage these guys will that work looks like my type of fight Ooh. that'll do Oh, that's still effective. Okay, so this is cake, actually. Yeah, as long as uh, Soul Eater does its damage, then there's not a whole lot to worry about. Wait, could I, uh... <coughs> we must hurry. My time has almost come. I will cast a spell on your ship so that it may travel underwater. Oh, it went away. The Nautilus can now travel underwater. south from Ceronia. The Temple of Time lies between the pillars of Cape Twinhorn. In the temple is where you will find Noah's loot. What does Noah's loot do? It is a magic loot whose... Umbra? Timber? Will reach even into the world of dream. You must use it to call Uni back from the world of dream. I will now use the circle to enter the rift between dimensions and find the key to Eureka. Your task is to wake Uni and obtain the ancient ship known as the Invincible. You must hurry now. I will teleport you outside. Give my regards to Uni. Farewell, warriors of the light. We will meet again. So he teleported us outside, but couldn't make us big again. So now this thing can travel underwater. I don't know that it can travel in the water still. Oh, 
that's gonna hurt. Does he also... Yeah. I was like, maybe he also heals himself on top of that. Of course, of course not. Yay, now we're more experienced behind. That's not at all annoying. Wait. Oh, are you kidding me? I thought I felt so clever for a minute. What about? Man, okay. So this thing is super slow underwater. bit of experience. Ah, there it is. Man, if he could just go, f if Metro could just go first, like this would be non issue. some great experience at least for right now Because Soul Eater... Ugh. Oh no. Alright, that's fine. I... You know what? I just realized what I should do. I should put Magic in the back row. Because Soul Eater does the same amount of damage whether you're in the front or the back row. If you don't have uh, a lot of hit points, then it does less damage. Which is very annoying. too many things that can like instantly wipe out a character and it's like well I guess I just hope that nothing goes wrong I also wish I had it there was oh, there we go something to tell me how many battles Someone had left. Oh, Doga's village. Okay, so you can get. This is Doga's village. All the spells sold here are ancient, recovered and restored by Master Doga himself. Ah, so. 
Oh, I bet this is, you can probably get just about any spell that you've seen up to this point here. Instead of having, oh man. Oh, you can even go beyond. Level five spells, nice. Uh, when I get to the Earth Crystal, this will be a lot more valuable. Uh, it's weird that there's some repetition here. Oh, a new one from Sid. Newer babies, you for sure were a handful when you were toddlers. You all turned out okay in the end, or at the very least, you're all toilet trained. Psst. Thanks, Sid. Uh, and there's the first five levels of summons. I'm pretty sure that uh, six, seven, and eight, you have to fight. Uh, Leviathan and Bahamut. I would. I, I'm assuming Bahamut is number eight. Leviathan, and I don't know who the other one is. <sighs> yeah, I don't remember. Anyway, that's where we're gonna leave it. We'll uh, explore the uh, area north of that town that I can't remember the name of. <laughs> all the way in the north there. We'll, uh, we'll explore that next time. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, do please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.